Hello and welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to be learning how to use ClickUp AI. ClickUp is an app that replaces them all. You'll be able to experience the ultimate productivity hubs. ClickUp helps to simplify work and get more work done. You can plan, track and manage any type of work with project management that flexes to your team's needs. So to get to ClickUp, you'll go to ClickUp dot com and then you will click on sign up and then you will input your email here and then you'll click on next and then it will ask you basic questions and then send a verification code to your email and then once you verify that you will be able to get to this page where now you can access ClickUp. So with ClickUp on this side, you notice we have the items that we can use. And of course, you can adjust the settings here under settings on the top left corner. So I'm going to be showing you how fast to create a new space and then how to use ClickUp AI in the work. So with the spaces here on this side, you notice I have some space that I've created here. But to create a new space, you simply click on spaces, then you click on new space, then you can create a space from templates. If I click on templates, you notice I can create from these templates that are already pre-designed. But if I click back, I can just create from blank. So in this case, I'm just going to be creating from blank. I'll give the new space name and then I'll just call it video projects. Then I'll click on next and then I can choose the space color. I'll choose green and I'm able to choose any other color. So let me choose that green, then I'll click on next. Then I can also choose the avatars here before I click on next. I can choose the one that would appear on my case here. So I'll choose one and click on next. Then I can share video projects here. I can decide is it my workspace or is it private? I'll click to be part of Love Baby's workspace. workspace. So I click on next, then now I can add the content here. Content, Canva, marketing, normal and all that. But I can also select the custom one. Then I click on next so that I get the custom settings. Then I can decide on the priorities here. I can enable click apps here. Priority, I can tap that to switch them off, all of them. But I can leave it on and just select on a few. Then I'll click on next. Then I can review the space. Then I click on review space. Then I can now see the space name. It's video projects, avatar. I selected this one. Then the click apps. I selected this one for priority, tags, custom fields. Then the multiple as I need, time tracking, and then incomplete warning. And then I have dependency warning here. So if I'm now happy with all that, I just click on create space. So you now notice we have a video project space here. So I can click on that video projects on the left hand side. It brings me here where I can add new tasks. In this case, I can add a task, a description, or I can add a comment. Let me add a new task about video projects. I click on new task. Then I can give the task name. I'll call it YouTube videos. Then I can set the due date here. I click on that. Then I can select 12th. Then I can set the priority here. I click on that. Is it urgent, high, normal, or low? Let me click urgent. Then I can set the start date. I click on that, then come to the calendar. I click on today, that's the date. Then once I'm satisfied with that, I click on save. And there we have it. So I have the video projects, then I have the task for YouTube videos and all this. So it's assigned to, here under assignee, I can change that, who I want to assign it to. Here, I am the only one available on this workspace, so I can only assign it to myself. I click on that, so it's assigned to me. But I can invite people here, down here if I click on invite, you notice I can invite users by email. So if I put an email there, I can click on send invite. So, but now I don't want to invite anybody. So that's how you can create a new space on that. 
and of course add tasks just like I have added. So if now I click on uh, documents down here, then I can click on all so that I can be able to see all my documents. And these are the documents that we have created. So, and I'll be showing you how to create those documents. Then on spaces here, so on spaces here, you notice that I cannot see my spaces on this side. So I'll expand this. Then you notice I have space, I have team space, and I have video project space. So I want to click on everything so that I'm able to see all my spaces and they are here. I have the weekend assignments. I have to edit mission videos and all these are what I've done in my spaces. So to simply add a space again, you simply click on new space and then you give it a name. You can use the template and all that. So on top here, you notice we have the word board. So with the spaces that I already created here, if I click on board, you notice now we have the to-do list. We have those that are in progress. We have those that are done and we have the review. And of course we can add others here like complete and uh, revision. So this you can import from the template as we said, but you can also edit all these to do. If now I click on this to do list, I can edit this workspace pitch idea on Shark Tank. If I click on that, I'm able now to edit this one to fit what I want. Maybe I want it to be edit TikTok video, and then I can add a description there. Then I'll possibly just copy paste this to be my description. And then I can decide on the progress here. It's at zero currently. I can add to do what I need to do. That is a subtask. And that is it. So now I have my TikTok project here added. And then if I click on add task, I can simply again add another, create another task and give it the task name there. So next, let me show you how to use documents with AI ClickUp. So on the left hand side below here, you notice we have documents. If I click on the drop down, you notice that my documents are here, either assigned to me, shared or private ones. If I click on all, I'll be able to access these documents here, but I want to create a new one. So I can click here, add new. So I'm now adding a new document here. So, and here I'll be showing you how to use ClickUp AI to make this one so simple for you. So let's say I want to generate a document here, how to select a dog breed. Then I'll come down here. And because I want to use ClickUp AI, I don't have to type all that. So down here, I can decide to have a blank page and then I can select what do I want? Is it under popular? Is it a design? Is it an email? Is it a marketing? Is it a project? Is it about services and all this? Let me assume it's a social issue. I'll select social and down, down here, I'll write and then down here, I'll simply write the same. Then down here, I'll click the stroke to give the command. Or I can search here and write AI so that I can click on write with AI. I click on that. And then now here, I give it the talking point. So I'll simply, so I'll simply copy paste the same here. How to select a dog breed. Then I can select here. Is it the tone, default, inspirational, professional? I select professional. And then the creativity, high or medium or low. I'll leave it at high. And then I click on generate. And you notice that ClickUp AI has already generated for us a text here about what to do when considering a dog. It's important to carefully choose the breed that best suits your lifestyle and needs. And then it explains all the details down there. So if I want it to do something else, if I read this article and I feel I need something else done, maybe it's too long, I can simply type here, shorten the article. Then I'll click on that. And you now notice it is just one paragraph. 
then I'll click on insert. So we have it there. So I'll close that. And you now notice up here we have our document about how to select a dog breed. So I'll click here on add a new document. And in this case, I want to generate a different thing. So I'll click here on popular. And you notice with popular, I can generate templates. I can generate table with data. I can generate meeting and all this. Let me generate a table with data. And then I give the description here. Then I'll give the table description here. In this case, you can see the example best restaurants in San Diego or feature prioritization. In this case, I'll type best holiday destination in Africa. And then I'll click on generate. And you notice now we have our table generated holiday destination, Cape Town, South Africa. The description Cape Town is known for its stunning beaches, diverse cultural heritage and iconic landmarks. And then we have the activities that are there. You can also tell the AI what to do. We can maybe request it to indicate the map location, uh, prices, and uh, if it's possible to get the prices or contacts, then it will be able to do that. Let's just try that. Maybe we'll say add contacts column for the above. And there it is. So you now notice it has added contacts on this side. So we have them as links. So if now I click on the second one for Morocco, open link in new tab. Let's see where it will take us. So it takes us to this page where we can visit Morocco and what's hot gives us the images of the destination and uh, the website and all this. So you notice it's accurate in terms of the contact column that we have requested it to add, including the pictures there, the spot, and all this that has been generated. I will simply click on add new here. Then if I'm not sure what exactly I'm looking for, I can use the search button here. So in this case, I want to know if I can do the content calendar with ClickUp. I simply type content. And you notice it has already given me the option here, content calendar. So that's how you can use the search button there. And uh, let me click on content calendar. Then I'll do the topics here and then I'll be able to get the content calendar. So let me just call it C. Let me just say, let me just call it calendar. And then the target audience, I'll say farmers. And then the topics, I'll do weeding, planting, and harvesting. And then I can select the posting frequency, e.g. Twitter, daily, YouTube, once, and all that. So in this case, I'll just write Twitter. Then I just type once. So you notice here, the AI model is not able to create tables or visual content. However, it can provide sample content for calendar. So in this case, the sample content for the calendar is already here. Topic weeding, it has given me Monday, third. Content type, then I need to maybe put an image. And then the captions say goodbye to weeds with this helpful trick, tips and tricks of gardening. Then it gives to... Then it goes to planting and then it also goes to harvesting. So if I'm satisfied with that, I'll click on insert. Then I have it there as my calendar. Then I'll just maybe edit this and put it to farmers. So we can add tags to all this. You simply click on tags and then you can add any tag or you can add a workspace or you can even make it private up here. I'll click on farmers calendar. Then now, if this is the calendar I want now to share, I'll simply click up here on share. And then I can share the link with anyone here. Or I can invite people, maybe the emails of the farmers who I want them to access. So you noted somewhere here we had favorites. So if I want this to be part of my favorites, I'll click on favorite there. And so it's added now to favorite so that my farmers calendar will be part of the favorite. So if now I click on favorites here, you notice farmer's calendar has been added. If I want to add holiday destination as part of my favorites, I click on the icon. Then I come here and click on favorites. Then I can now close that. So if I need my favorites now, I'll simply be coming here. 
but there is no worry because I can also search that here. I can do the filter here, maybe by time. Here, in, in this case, I'm showing all. So, and that is how you use ClickUp AI to manage your work. So with ClickUp AI, indeed, you are able to have one app that replaces them all. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.